So we rented a car. We rented the Wagoneer. I love that Jeep Wagoneer. And we, okay, so our car is there. We we get there first out of the whole family. We arrive there. We tour the uh, Airbnb. I sent you a video of it on messages. I remember it was very, very cool. So that first day we were all yeah. hanging around. We were waiting for family to arrive. So we we're settling in. About an hour later, um, one of my sisters pulls up in her car, a BMW, which was actually originally ours. We bought it, but she, we gave it to her. So she's what borrowed. Was it the, the she's, red one where you spread your cheeks on it? Huh? <laughs> anyway, we borrowed. Hey, oh, you know exactly <laughs> what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. She borrowed that car, and now I'm going to have to tell her that, yes, my butt cheeks have been on the back windshield. <laughs> no, your butt cheeks have been on the front windshield, on the freaking hood, and the back windshield. Let me finish the story. Your butt cheeks have been everywhere over that car. Uh, she arrives and she parks in the driveway. This is not a huge driveway, but it's enough for three cars. And then, of course, Haley and Courtney. So, more. They also pull up um, in a red truck. So, it's just, I don't know why I'm describing the cars. It doesn't matter. All I need to know is that a series of events unfolded chronologically that meant bad news. So, let's start out with... It happened, okay, it happened the following day. So, like, it was daytime. All three cars are still parked in the driveway. We didn't go anywhere or anything. We were all good. Um, we wanted, Haley and Courtney wanted to go out back, and I wanted to take a picture for them. So I already dressed up in this nice outfit because we were about to get going for Carolina's graduation. And um, I was dressed up in these really nice boots or shoes. I think they were dads. Yeah, they were dads, and they were like these really nice, smooth, like just boots. Not really boot. Eh, well, men's boots, something like that. You know, they're nice. And, uh, barely worn and I step outside to take some photos of Haley and Courtney and Phoebe and Philip the dogs and oh, it's no. actually for their Christmas card okay um so this next part I don't notice the actions that I'm about to take but it, it, it's completely swept under the rug it's it's under the radar at this point but I step in poop okay um, at some point it was droppings I stepped in a landmine by one of the dogs dropping and I it was it probably happened toward the beginning, but I stepped around. I had to step in every square foot of the backyard. I was like, let's go over here. Let's get this background. Oh, let's try this angle. Like I could have probably avoided the that on my shoe. I think it was on both shoes. Double the fun. Next, I go back inside. They're happy with their photos. They put on their Christmas card, and every time I look at that Christmas card, I just I have PTSD because what happens next? So I. <laughs> Apparently, I track poop through the house at that point. I'm still wearing the shoes. I Little do I know, though. Um, and then, Dad asks me, because we need to get... Okay, so the car that we're all going to drive together to see uh, Carolina's graduation in is in the... Like, is the furthest one. You know, we were the first one in the driveway. So there's two cars behind our car that we're taking. So we need to... <laughs> we need to... Um, take the other two cars, we need to remove them so we can back that third one out. So Haley drove her truck first and backed out. The second one, Jillian was going to drive, but since I recently got my license, this is December, I was like, ooh, you know what, I'll, I'll back it out for you and we'll all, like, pull off on the other side no. of the road. No. So, <laughs> without any hesitation, I'm like, alright, Jillian, I'm going to back out the car. And, like, she didn't really know. It was more me and Dad. Dad was like, yeah, you can back out for her. I'll make sure she's okay with it. Okay. Okay, she's okay with it. Yeah, go for it, son. And so I step in that car. I have no idea. <laughs> and I back the car out successfully. Also, I didn't realize exactly what we were doing. I thought we were just parking up at the... We basically went to the church, like, the, the next block over so that Dad could pull the Wagoneer out and have it at, like, the front of the street so we could leave. Yeah. Um, but obviously they were relying on me and Haley to go in first in the so he could pull in the driveway last. Um, I didn't realize, so I parked, I just, like, parked, and they were waiting on me to, like, turn around and go <laughs> in the driveway first, but I just parked at the church, like, the, the block away, and they're like, Kyrie, what are you doing? We're going back to the house. And I was like, oh, yeah. So I put oh, my foot on the yeah. pedal again, and something told me that the pedal was, like, sticky, like, I didn't think no, much of it. No, no. <laughs> but, you know, I continued. 
I trounced on that pedal the way back, like, oh, we gotta get back, we gotta go soon. So I just, I put pedal to the metal, I trounced on the pedal. And, you know, both the brakes and, I'm a very, like, well, I just like to, like, switch between the brakes and gas a lot, so my foot was just on both pedals. I get out, and I, like, if that wasn't bad enough, when I finally parked the car and then the other two cars came behind us, in order, orderly fashion, the way it should have been, they get out of the car. I get out of the car, and I, like, hit my boot on the side of the car as I'm coming out. <laughs> and that's when I noticed that there's poop on, in the car, on the pedals, <laughs> in the car. Because I hit it, and a giant sliver of it comes off. Yes, a dollop. You know you, know you like it. I knew you'd like that word. And um, it was on the concrete, too. And, like, uh, it was a bit of a clean-up process. And, you know, this wouldn't be a signature Kyger story if I weren't to tell you the ending. I, Dad cleaned it up for me. <laughs> he sure did. Like, I mean, he asked... Cleaning up your poop uh, okay, yeah. This wasn't my poop, though, in the car, surprisingly. I, I don't know why. I feel like it would have been more likely that I pooped in the car than it were to be. I tracked our our dog, our, our fellow dog's poop through the house, through the Airbnb, through the driveway. In my sister's car, there's probably irreparable damage on those pedals. Like, I... And the boots, too. 